Greetings, everyone. Brad here with Mild Mannered EDC. Hope you're all doing really well out there. So today we're going to do a Mild Mannered quickie review of a fountain pen. That's right. Uh, it is, in fact, this fountain pen, the Amazon Basics fountain pen. And as the name would suggest, I picked this up off of Amazon for about $10.50. Um, quick kind of <laughs> disclaimer here. I like EDC pens. I enjoy EDC pens and I carry EDC pens. I am not a pen expert and I'm not really even a pen, I don't know, a collector necessarily. I'm not in the pen world, so to speak. Um, and certainly not in the same way that I uh, engage in the uh, EDC pocket knife hobby. So there you go. Just kind of a little disclaimer on that. But I do enjoy a good pen and you know, I think it's just a valuable part of any EDC uh, if you if you don't mind carrying a pen around in your pocket. So that's what we've got here today. And I do like fountain pens. I mix my pens up. Uh, I don't always carry a fountain pen, but I do like fountain pens. There's something about sort of the old fashioned nature of a fountain pen. And with the modern kind of technology and materials that we have today, fountain pens are just really, really good. Uh, and even, you know, dealing with issues like ink and other things just aren't the hassle I think they probably were at one time. Uh, so, you know, there you go. So what do we got here with this $10.50 <laughs> EDC fountain, or well, fountain pen that I think can be an EDC fountain pen uh, from Amazon Basics? So you have a pen here made in China. You've got a barrel, a section, a nib, a cap, all made in China, all metal. Um, I don't think there's anything. In fact, I think it's brass metal. Uh, I don't think there's anything overly special about that. I, I'm not 100% sure if this is some sort of enamel or if it's just sort of a plastic coating over the metal. Eh, I, can't, I couldn't really tell you, actually. I've tried to get my sense there. I think it's more of a plasticky kind of coating than it is anything else. But this particular one comes with a no-nonsense nib. There you go. And you can see by the M, it is a medium nib. And I think it actually writes pretty darn well all things considering. Let's, hello folks. Mild mannered EDC. So, you know, it's actually a pretty smooth writer. Um, it's a little, it's not quite what I would describe as on the wet side in terms of a really gushing flowing ink, um, but it is perfectly uh, sufficient for, you know, what I like to, do, which is a lot of doodling and writing when I'm on Zooms or whatever else, or if I'm just pulling it out to sign a receipt or something like that. Now, I will point out with fountain pens, as people probably know, you know, this particular, this is a Rhodia notebook, which I tend to use uh, with fountain pens just because you need that vellum paper, because trying to write on standard paper or printer paper or something like that will just smear and, and kind of get all over the place. So you do kind of have to keep that in mind when you are using fountain pens. So there you go. So I don't have this in any kind of particular special ink. In fact, if you undo the barrel here and you see this actually came with an Amazon Basics um, short international cartridge. In fact, it says Amazon Basics right there. So they've got, in fact, if you can see that, I don't know, there you go. Um, this is the box that it came with. It came with two extra um, little shorts there. They're not big and they don't have a lot of ink in them. So you're going to need to be buying others. Uh, I have tested out a, a separate international short cartridge. It did work fine and didn't um, uh, leak or anything like that on me. That said, I have two converters here and some people prefer to use converters where you can, you know, pull up your own color of ink um, and have a variety of inks around. This is a Parker uh, converter. It worked and sat fine. Um, this one is a, I don't know, <laughs> came with another fountain pen. This one did not sit fine and I assumed this was also a standard converter. So yeah, just keep that in mind with this particular $10.50 pen because I'm not 100% sure that it's gonna fit everything perfectly. Um, and again, because this is sort of a no-name manufacturer out of China, there's no real sense of knowing. But, you know, you do have this, this nice smooth section that you're able to get down pretty firm. In fact, that's one or, or pretty close to the nib. In fact, that's one of the things that um, I am not a fan of with fountain pens is when the section is actually higher, uh, too far away from where the actual nib is. So you feel like you're writing kind of like this. Uh, so being able to get down there kind of close uh, to do your writing is nice. And, you know, 
overall, I think this is a pretty decent pen for, like I said, 10 bucks. You do have a clip here. It's okay. Um, it's just a standard. It feels like anything you'd get off any sort of cheap um, <laughs> pen with a clip. Uh, it does post well. So there you go. It posts pretty nicely. So, you know, I've got no problems there posting. And I actually do like a pen that posts, uh, not only because it does add a little bit of balance while you're writing, it's just nice so that you don't lose it somewhere, or leave it, have it rolling around, something like that. Uh, this pen will roll on you, I guess, if you try to let it roll on you, but yeah, maybe not too bad. Uh, how about a couple of size comparisons here real quick, just so you get a sense of how big this pen is. Here's another, uh, this is a, a standard in the, in the pen community, fountain pen community in terms of uh, what, you know, people just love it. And that is the Twisby Eco. And here is a standard in the EDC pen community for those of us, oops, speaking of rolling, and that is a Machine Era Classic. So you can kind of see how those all fit together. Uh, this is very much in Eco territory. And I actually think the Eco is a slight bit too big for EDC for my purposes. So I actually use it a lot, but I don't actually carry it all that much, um, if that makes sense. So, you know, overall, I think for $10, you can't really go wrong with this. I think, you know, <laughs> it, it writes well. You can actually even, the nib is actually, I think, sufficient enough. And like I said, it's not any kind of fancy nib. I got a medium. And the reason I like to go up a little bit bigger is that you can always flip it over and then you can get that finer line um, if that's what you're looking for. So that's kind of a little trick. And in fact, I like stub nibs for that reason, because you can you can get that nice flowing sort of calligraphy look to your writing, but also can flip it over and have a nice uh, clean, crisp line if you want to as well. So anyways, that's what we've got here with the Amazon Basics uh, fountain pen. I think it's a decent pen for $10.50. If you're looking to get into the fountain pen world, uh, or if you're just looking to try out a fountain pen, see if you like it. This will give you the experience of, of I think, a decent fountain pen uh, that comes with some extra ink and some other things that uh, get you started, and you won't feel out, feel like you're out of money, you know, out a bunch of money if you're like, oh boy, I hate this. I never want to. <laughs> I definitely don't like fountain pens. And if you do like it, it might, uh, you know, encourage you to look into other things and maybe try to, um, you know, expand out into something a bit nicer. So, anyways, there you go. I hope you've enjoyed this review here of the Amazon Basics fountain pen. It is a basic review because it is a basic pen. But with that, uh, thanks so much for watching. Stay safe out there. Be mild mannered to one another, and all the best. Thank <laughs> you.